What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to show you how to use matplotlib to graph simple math functions in Python. So let's get started. <music> Alright, so as you see here, we have our normal routine. So first we do pip install matplotlib and numpy, and that gets matplotlib and numpy on our device. And next we do import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then import numpy as np, and percent matplotlib inline. And percent matplotlib inline just tells Google Clap to have our graph show up as result of code like this instead of showing up as pop-ups or new tabs. And these import statements just get them, you know, ready for us to use. And they also come with aliases, so we don't have to type out the entire thing. All right, so the first thing we have to do is np.linspace, and I'll say zero and 10. And np.linspace is a numpy method that returns evenly spaced numbers over a specified interval and the first number is start and the second number is the stop. So if we run this we will have numbers 0 through 9. So just like that. So this has numbers from 0 to 9 so if we want to include 10 let's just do 11 over here. So now we can go from 0 through 10. The next thing we have to do is just do plt dot plot x comma x and let's do label equals linear so you might be wondering what these x's are so let's do x equals this and that's just the numbers we get from np dot space and since it's linear the x and the y correspond so one to one just like that Next, let's do plt dot plot x comma x asterisk asterisk two and label equals quadratic. And these two asterisks um, just means x to the power of two. So now it's x and then x to the power of two. So two and four. Finally, let's do one last plt dot plot x comma x asterisk asterisk three and the label for this one will be cubic. We now see that this is what our graph looks like and it doesn't seem like much but that's because our cubic function increases so rapidly that it goes all the way up to 1200 where the linear and the quadratic don't increase as much. So if we want this to be portrayed a little more fairly, for lack of a better word, we can reduce this second input over here. So instead of 11, let's make this, let's make that six. So now it'll be zero through five. And now if we run this, it still looks kind of the same, a little more even. So let me make this two. So it's gonna be zero and one. Here is our x, and as you see at 1, it's 1. It just looks a little more stretched out because of this scale right here. And there's our quadratic, and just like that. We can also add a number here. So let us let me do comma and 100. So, so, the default, so the default number for that is 50, and, and that is just the number of samples to generate but we change that to 100. So if we run this again, we see we now have, you know, a little more data. And we can make this look a little better. So let's try doing plt.xlabel x axis and plt.ylabel y axis. Now let's do plt.title random graph and below that, let's just do plt.legend. So if we run this, boom, it looks a lot better now. I got a lot of this from my video on how to make matplotlib graphs look better. So go check that one out if you haven't already. So let's go through this. 
So the X label, Y label, and title. So the X label corresponds to what the X label, so the label for the X axis. The Y label corresponds to the label on the Y axis. And the title is just the title at the top of the graph. And the plt.legend, that is just there because of all these labels that we have here. So label linear, label quadratic, label cubic. So it just goes like that. And, you know, you can also see, you know, plt dot plot x comma x raised to the fourth power and label equals quartic q u a r t i c and if we run this again you see now we have even more stuff and this is the best way to use matplotlib just in simple ways and it can make your life so much easier well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time peace out